Welcome back to Fallout 3, my name is Ricky and this is Jesse. This is a challenge run where we are not taking any perks nor are we increasing our skills at level up. Last time we finished up Operation Anchorage, did not end super well, but it did end, we got our perk, and now we can complete Wasteland Survival Guide and get the absolute best ending possible. So we're back here in the Robco facility place. Um, I think I have everything I need. To, uh, I thoroughly, sir, ow, 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 hang on, no, you can just swing the stupid sword, um, right, okay, so we got this sword, uh, last time, I know technically speaking, I said I didn't want to use, um, this isn't the way I need to go, I know I said I didn't want to use unique weapons, and, um, I'm not, except for this um, because I want to. Just so uh, we're clear, it has been a little while since I have played Fallout 3. Uh, very specifically, it's been since February. Because, see, another game came out, and I decided to dedicate the whole the channel to just that game. But you know what? I finished that game. Although there are still some episodes left to come out. Because I got several more bonus episodes still left to come for Elden Ring. Crucially, I have completed um, the main thing. So now we can get back to doing other stuff. Like playing uh, Fallout 3. And hopefully being able to hack this thing. I mean, I know I can. So I put on the vault. Ow! Did, did they re Stop hitting that button. You're not playing Elden Ring. Right, okay. I keep trying to hit that button because I'm trying to think I'm playing Elden Ring. Right, so I put on the uh, lab coat and I took some Mintats and now we're going to actually be able to hack the uh, mainframe. Now we're going to hack the main. Hey, look at that. It was the third word after I reset this thing five times. So, I want to initiate pest termination. There we go. No, I said pest. Cease total liquidation. Nah, that was what I should have done as well. Should have ceased. There we go. Okay. That's, that's better. Okay. Now we're done. Fiddle with any interesting technology lately? Yep. I reactivated the robots and was able to modify their programming. Harnessing the technology of the past and modifying it for your own purposes? That's just the thing. Tell me all about how it worked out. Um, it was robotic carnage, but I caused it, so it was the okay sort of carnage. Well, I guess one thing about using the old tech is that it can feel a bit like playing God. But you're probably not supposed to, I think. Play God? Seems yeah, like a good carnage, thing to yeah. watch for when dealing with tech of any age. And it helps to pack a few pulse grenades, just in case. Here, have a few. Cool, thanks. Oh, and take my book on Oh, science. I don't need that. For some reason, I just can't get into the computer parts. But I've got the rest pretty much memorized. So, the last part of this chapter is about researching local history, right? Yes. Rivet Cities in particular. It's the most successful survivor settlement around. But no one here really knows how it started. Of course. That's why it's important to know how a place like that succeeded. Sure. So I need you to go there and do some researching. Okay. And check around to make sure you're hearing the real deal. Okay. Hey, you know what I have just now discovered? You can't hold down the B button to sprint in Fallout 3. There's no sprint function in Fallout 3. And also the Y button jumps. It's not the uh, do button. It's not the use button. The A button is that because I am not playing Elden Ring. This is what happens when you play one game for basically two months. Here we go. Could I ask you about Rivet City's history? Why, I practically set this whole place up. No, you didn't. When I got here 12 years ago, it was just a handful of dead enders squatting in a rusted out rowboat. Now I'm on the council and with my leadership, we're the strongest settlement in the wastes. I mean, of course, some of that of is those true. Dead enders still stick around, but who'd want to leave? Beach 100%. Hasn't Rivet City been around for longer than 12 years? 
Well, yes, but it was hardly any place of importance until I arrived on the scene. That's all ancient history now. No one would ever care about it. I guess. If you insist on wasting your time on that, you could try that bartending old crone down below, Belle Bonnie. Hey, how you doing? Oh, hey there. Welcome to the weather. Not you. Checking up on me or something? How are you getting along now that you left Great Itch? Oh, Vera's the nicest lady ever. It's so cool that you brought me here. Did not bring you here. I mean, she makes me do stuff, like clean up her hotel and all that, but she really cares about me. Well, that's good. Plus, I found some friends here in Rivet City, too. All thanks to you. Welcome. Bye. See you, lady. I have a name. It's Jesse. Here we are, finally. I'm Belle Bonnie, and this is the Muddy Rudder. Have any stories about this place's history? History? What, not enough shit around here already? You need to dig up more? Yep. Don't know if it ever had an official start. It's just been here forever. Stuck in the river and full of ass. Well, it hasn't been here forever. I bet someone like you hears lots of stories. Can you share one? This is one I wish I could back out and put on my speech gear. But whatever. No, I can't fucking well share one. What sort of moron Yet I still passed you? it. But fine. It'll get you out of my face. Go down to Pinkerton's shed in the broken off bow of the ship. Okay. If he decides to give you a history lesson, it's no business of mine. Now get the hell out of my bar. Okay, bye. There we go. Okay, look. I have never been able to find my way around Rivet City, and I have played hundreds of hours of this game, and almost all of them have been spent not inside Rivet City. I'll be honest with you, this is one of those times where I really wish I had a, um... I really wish I had some sort of, like, uh, rebreather. Like you get in New Vegas. Uh, no. No, 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 no. No, I'm not getting killed by my alerts. Again, you are not playing. Elden Ring, I just tried to lock on. Well, I mean, I didn't get killed by the explosion. How the hell did you get in here? <laughs> Wasn't easy. I suppose you can't be all that bad if you made it this far without dying. Yeah, exactly. This is the part where you tell me what the hell you are doing bothering an old man who obviously wants to be left alone. I need to know about Rivet City. Tell me about it. I hear you're the only one who knows the truth about its founding. Sounds like you've been poking around, all right. I'm surprised any of those reprobates even remember me. Maybe they still laugh about how they edged me out of the council back then. But you can set the record straight. Yes, I can. Setting the record straight is exactly my goal. For that, you have to go all the way back to when remnants of the Naval Research Institute cleared the Meyer Lurks off this wreck about 40 years ago. We were looking for new lab space, and this bucket of bolts just happened to have a well-preserved science bay on it. Everything else just grew up around that lab once we got it up and running. Ooh. The science team was led by one H. Pinkerton. Hey, that's you. You used to be in charge. Why are you here? That lasted until about 18 years ago, when those ambitious backbiters like Lee and her little team showed up. Hey. She came in with her big purity project pipe dream, and my whole staff started working with her. Those traitors. I have some bad news for you. It's she not a pipe dream. She my seat on the council. By then... I was glad to leave it behind. But hell, if I'm leaving the city, I made great. You have any hard evidence of all this? Of course I do. A good scientist always keeps track of their data. Here, they probably don't even remember, but I kept the records of that first council meeting. Take them, if it'll put them in their place. I doubt it, but... All right. Bye. I'm going to leave through your front door. I don't think we'll see each other again because I have a stinking suspicion I'm not going to do the replicated man. It's a hunch I have. And now we got to go tell um, what's-her-face uh, Moira about all this crap. Hello. Any luck finding out how Rivet City got started? Yep. After a lot of searching, I've got the real history of Rivet City. Aha! Uh -huh. Not just as easy as asking around, was it? No, I did find some Good mileage. information takes real work to uncover after all. Sure. So, tell me all about it. So, Moku says he took these notes. They seem reasonable enough. Well, this data looks legitimate. An outgrowth of a science station, huh? Hm. Just goes to show what I always say about cleverness. A bit of smarts leads to a big reward, huh? Speaking of which, in thanks, 
have a few of these for the next time you've got to be quick on your wits. Oh, and I'll let the Rivet City traders know they'll be favorably mentioned in the book. You'll get a discount buying gear from them in the future. Cool. If I have to research anything else, I'll just shoot myself now. Well, lucky for you, we're done. Yay! And for all your nasty attitude, I think the quips made it a lot more entertaining to read. Good. That's bound to help. Now, I just need to do a few last tweaks, and it'll be ready to print and distribute. Thanks for all the help. Let me guess. You need me to go print and distribute it, right? So cynical. No, no. I can take care of all that with the few traders I know. What makes you think I'd force you to handle something so dangerous? Uh, everything else. Now, you should just lie back. Did you read your book? Asking the praise for helping with the book. I'll share these with the traders, and soon everyone will know about the Wasteland Survival Guide. But now, the very first copy of our book goes to you. Cool. It wouldn't nearly be as good without your input. Yeah. You're the real wasteland survival. I will guru. tell you that. Um, so I gain karma. I got a survival perk. Um bye. There we go. Three percent bonus to critical chance. We did the entirety of Operation Anchorage specifically so I could get three percent instead of two percent. Also the six percent bonus to poison resistance. And rad resistance, which is nice. The 3% isn't that worth it, necessarily, compared to 2%. Like, I already have a decently high luck. Um, it's not going to be that big of a difference. Like, you know, we're not taking any normal perks, so those are the only perks we're going to get. So, you know, I'll, I'll take whatever I can get, but... Yeah. Finish up the Wasteland Survival Guide. We got the perk we wanted. The thing is, um... It's been a while since I played the game, and I also realized that we have a bit been neglecting the main quest of the game. So we might wanna, we might wanna do something about that, or I don't know, we might do something else. Maybe we'll go bobblehead hunting. I don't know. This has been Fallout Three. Thank you for watching, and come back soon for more Fallout Three.